Hello and welcome to downtown Myrtle Beach. I'm going to show you guys yet another hotel property that the city of Myrtle Beach purchased recently in order to redevelop the downtown. The one we're going to look at today is the Sea Palms off of 7th Avenue North, right down here. That building right there on the corner, just this one building. Let's get down to ground level and get a look. In the distance across the street on the left, that is the Sea Palms, which is monitored 24 seven by closed circuit television on the street posts. It's common for this area. So let's take a look at the building, get an idea of the property from the sky. This is the piece of land we're talking about today, 7th Avenue. Beach is right down there, pan to the right. Here is the hotel motel in question. As you can see, we are very close to the beach, very close to the old pavilion slash boardwalk area. So the proximity of this hotel motel to the rest of the downtown is fairly tight. It's walkable for sure. One thing worth mentioning, since this is 7th Avenue and the city of Myrtle Beach has been presenting different ideas for redevelopment in this area. One of the ideas is taking Highway 501 and just shooting it straight through to approximately 7th Avenue. Instead of taking that awkward turn in front of the hobby shop, you know what I'm talking about, when you hit the light at the end of 501 and you turn toward the old pavilion. So that is, you know, optional on the books. Across the street here, those two hotels, that's the Fountain Blue and the Oasis. We've done previous videos on those two hotels, just like this one. So if you haven't seen those, go check them out. They're on the channel. But today, we're paying attention to the Sea Palms. And there are a good bit of palm trees, I'm not gonna lie, surrounding this, this building. I find it funny that these palm trees are planted directly into pavement, or the pavement was installed around it. It's almost like they're bollards around the building. Very large, natural bollards. So the large land acquisition that the city moved forward with uh, in mid-December last year, this is one of the final pieces of land across the street from the Crepe Myrtle, which is still operational. This is one of the final pieces of land that I've been showing you all, focusing on, uh, that was part of that package. I believe it was $15 million they paid for all these pieces of land. So if you're interested in the other hotels and properties, check out those videos that uh, were posted just a few days ago. Again, there's the ocean, there's the hotel. Uh, from the sky, this area doesn't look too rough, but at night, questionable. I wouldn't be walking around here alone, honestly. So this building, assumingly, is going to come down. Uh, the first indicator of that is that mattress out front by the front door. Always mattresses. So if this building comes down, property gets redeveloped what do you think they're going to do with this area are they going to stick to the redevelopment plan are they going to flip it to a developer for the right price what do you think is going to happen and with that i'm going to say farewell and i will see you in the next video everybody so until then take it easy